This is big breaking emergency news. An emergency alert has been issued for a nuclear power plant inside of Georgia in the United States. Okay, this was issued today, August 13th, and we are getting reports that a major fire has broken out at this power plant. All right, we are also getting updates on quote cyber attacks on our US presidential elections. That's what's being reported right now from the FBI. Okay, they are reporting that we are seeing hits and attacks on our presidential elections and our presidential candidates. Okay, that's what they are now warning us of. And it could be a red flag for something bigger. Okay, they could be setting the table for something even bigger to happen, right? And we are also seeing reports of missiles being fired into northern israel tonight as well all right so we're going to cover all this stuff really quick guys please hit it up for me down there hit that like hit that subscribe i'm posting multiple videos every single day keeping you guys updated on all this big urgent news all right so we're seeing a lot of updates let's dive into what's going on really quick a live update of what's happening in northern Israel, right? They're reporting that dozens of rockets have been fired into northern Israel, but they're also reporting that there are no injuries, okay? They're saying at least 25 to 30 rockets have barraged the upper gallery, or sorry, Galilee region of northern Israel. And they're reporting that no casualties from this event all right so this could pop off this is a live situation blinken just canceled his middle east meeting as well due to increased security concerns anthony blinken the secretary of state he had a scheduled meeting to this part of the world the middle east and he just canceled it citing increased security threats to this region all right, so we are seeing a lot of stuff going on. This is a live situation here, and we could see it pop off at any moment. And the U.S. is sending guided missile submarine systems. All right, they're sending carrier strike groups. They're sending U.S. Marines are all right there in the Mediterranean right now on high alert. All right, so this is a live situation here. We are also seeing the FBI warning that they are probing alleged cyber attacks and hacks from iran right and they're saying that these attacks have been targeting trump and biden camps and even kamala harris as well that's what's being reported right now from the fbi they're saying that they are investigating this and it seems like the table is being set for maybe something bigger to happen coming up later in the year. Let's hope not. All right, let's hope we don't see that. But we could see some type of even false flag event coming later in the year relating to some type of cyber event that causes disruptions potentially. All right, not saying it's going to happen, but it's a card that can be played to potentially stir the pot going into later this year. All right. And Iran actually does have advanced cyber capabilities. It's one of the things that they have heavily invested in. And they do, and they have been targeting us, all right? But we also could see these advantages, or these situations taken advantage of as well. And bad state actors trying to co-opt this attack and make it into something that they want it to be. And then Iran gets the blame for it as well, too, right? That's also another possibility, right? But the FBI has confirmed that they are looking into major cyber attacks and breaches of the Trump campaign, the Biden administration, and the Harris campaign as well. This is what they said, quote, We can confirm the FBI is investigating this matter, the agency said in a brief statement. It says the FBI's investigation raises the stakes for both presidential contests already rife with accusations of dirty tricks and election interference and the government's credibility in ensuring a fair 
election, right? So this is raining, raising concerns for us. And it's reporting here that when the Trump campaign initially concluded it had been hacked, it did not alert the FBI, according to campaign advisors. The decision not to alert the FBI was made partially because of the campaign's distrust of the agency, right? So they didn't even report this initially with the FBI, according to this report, because they didn't trust them in reporting it, right? So we're getting into pretty wild times here, right? Lots of weird stuff going on. And apparently this is being reported that Roger Stone, his email account was hacked and was used as a in to send links and to get other people to click on links and to get hacked because they sent it from this trusted email. And that's how they got a lot other people, a lot of other people, right? They were able to get into his account. This is what's being reported. And then send out emails to other people, get them to click on things, and then get them to enter information, right? And steal their accounts too, All right? So that's what's being reported here by the FBI. And we need to be on high alert for any type of cyber event like this to pop off before the end of the year, right? And this leads into this, all right? This alert that was just issued for this nuclear power plant, the largest nuclear power plant in Georgia. And this emergency alert was issued at the Vogtel Electric Nuclear Power Plant. This is in Burke County, Georgia. This is the largest power plant in the state of Georgia. And they had this fire here at a transformer station, right? That's what's being reported. And it was bad enough to send out this emergency alert for the region. It was issued at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? According to Georgia Power Co. So this potentially could have been really bad, right? We could have seen reactors shut down. We could have seen cooling systems impacted and we could have seen loss of power, right? Thankfully, these things didn't happen. They were able to contain the fire and keep it under control. But we could have seen these units shut down, right? These alerts were sent out to people's phones, warning them of this emergency alert and this fire here. It was issued for units one and two at the plant, right? So this in coordination the timing of this this is why this is a big story too is because the timing of this is very strange with what is going on over in ukraine right now and with russia right the situation over there is escalating there's been a major offensive on russia and these contested regions right and there's been major evacuations and there's also been a big fire at the Zaporizhia power plant in Ukraine that is under Russian control right now, right? And it was reported that this power plant came under drone attack, allegedly. And that's where this big fire started, all right? They had a massive fire at this power plant here, too. So this is why the timing of this is very strange and peculiar. There could be internal sabotage going on inside the United States, right? Our country is wide open, our border is wide open, and our industries are wide open as well. And we are not sure exactly who is controlling anything. Who's even running the country right now, we're not even sure of. So there could be gaps inside of our energy agencies as well too, right? There could be sabotage going on. There could be fires being started, being allowed to happen. So make sure you guys are stocked up on things like iodide, potassium iodide and nascent iodine as well is critical, right? That is elemental iodine and your body will absorb that, your thyroid, instead of these radioactive 
isotopes that your thyroid is going to be looking to soak up in any type of disaster like this all right and nuclear energy is relatively safe it does have a lot of advantages it does produce massive amounts of power for the amount of land and resources that it uses right it is a net bonus overall but we just have to be careful with it and there needs to be higher security as well we could see cyber attacks on these things because each one of these power plants can act almost like a nuclear disaster like a nuclear bomb going off almost in each of these regions and it's like a very low altitude nuclear weapon going off as well right at ground level it's not even in the atmosphere and things are dissipated it's floating around right which allows it to spread more right that's one thing but that's a different threat this is right at ground level so the immediate area could be declared a disaster zone the water could all be declared not drinkable not have hospitable to live in right this area the houses are right, they could declare a disaster region from any of these events and that's why it's serious when we have these fires when we have these strange anomalies at our nuclear power plants and the timing of this is very peculiar with what's going on in europe right now and around the world so let me know what you guys think down below all right let me know if you guys have iodine and let people know down below what kind you use what do you have stocked up on all right i don't want to push any specific brands on here to like promote anything but i have tons of nascent iodine which is iodine in dropper bottles it's like liquid iodine that you can take as a supplement i'm not recommending anything but this is what we do you can drink it you can it's good for wound cleaning too all right it's also a disinfectant you can put it right on wounds you can brush your teeth with it right there's a lot of applications for nascent iodine and that's i'm um, just listing things that we use it for here right any type of cut or anything like that i'm putting nascent iodine on it to disinfect it and it's just a natural element that your body needs and absorbs it's not some chemical you're putting on your body to disinfect things this is what they use for animals any type of surgery all right they're covering the area in iodine for they cut it open farm animals any any type of live surgeries out in the fields or anything they're covering the animal in iodine as well right so something good to have even if it's just uh providine iodine okay you can't ingest it or anything like that you can still absorb these things into your skin all right you will absorb it just by putting it on you so have these things stocked up that's not the end all be all also have hepa filters as well have very low micron filters i will filter out these very small particulate and have carbon filters as well in coordination with very low micron filters all right it doesn't even have to be a hepa filter it just has to be very low microns that's capturing individual particulate like that all right so thank you guys please hit it up for me down there i appreciate that i hope you guys have big blessings for your life for your family and i hope you have a big old blessed day